So, Ahlan was Sahlan Shabab. Hello and welcome, guys and girls. Welcome to part 11. Um, yeah, in the last video, we did the task navigation in the composables folder um, to handle on a centralized place when the navigation to, to, to a specific uh, site is happening to all tasks, closed tasks, or all tasks, to open task, closed task, or all tasks. And when the user clicks on the logo to, to go to the open tasks. So what we are going to do now is we are creating the task card, the card to display the user. But the thing is currently, now you see when I'm fetching data, we have in the first or second video, we have added an item, a task. And when we add creates one, we get the create created on value like this. This is the string value. Year, the year, the month, the date, and the timestamp. And we we don't want to show this in our card. So I have created in in the composables package a new file format date. Basically, I, I took it from the internet, to be honest with you. Uh, this is a TypeScript file to format dates. And yes, this is how we will do this. And it's, a, it, it, yeah, it's a, I think it's, a, I found it somewhere in the internet. What it does, it will take the string, it will take this string and we'll format it to the local date string, to a local date string. And in the end, it should, output um at the the day the day point month point year this is how it should get handled because currently it's year month day and when this is happening the local date string parsing um it will be reversed day month and then year with separated by a period Yes, that's basically it. To show in a proper way the date. And yeah, just that you know um, that this, yeah, I found this method in the on the internet. I think I'll, I adapted it just a little bit, but that's it. Okay, great. Now I would say, let's go on, create a component or task card component. Call this task card. Let's start off by defining properties because we will have multiple tasks in here. Ah, define props. Curly braces. Don't forget the semicolon at the end. Okay. I will say we will have here tasks and this is of type array. It's great. Mm -hmm. You will use, of course, a task store. So const task store use task store. Um, so so we will also ca cache the task because we will also have to adapt it or to look at the details. We will of course have some emits, const emits equals define emits. This is of course an array. Define the emits in here. When the card is clicked, we want to show the details of a task. Card clicked event. Then we will have a delete event later. We want to delete the task. Delete minus clicked. Then we'll have to edit a task because we will have multiple buttons on this task card. And uh, that's why we have here multiple emits. Edit, click. Okay, that's great. And of course, we want to show different border colors when for open task or close task. So let's create a new value in here get border color class so 
equals sign parentheses is task open type boolean is lowercase equal sign greater sign and curly braces semicolon at the end now we will check if is the if the task is open we will if the task is open we will add a green border if it's already closed we will add a black border to the card so task open return green minus border and otherwise we will say Uh, we'll just say black border. Mm -hmm. Looks good, looks good. One more method we need. Uh, when we when we want to look at the details of a task, so this will be just a function function store task arguments the argument is of type task fetch response so we have to save it task store set task to edit task okay and of course we need to emit something we say the card got clicked to look at the v details of a task. And we say task.id. Mm -hmm. Looks great. Uh, now comes now comes the HTML structure. We are done with the logic structure. Let me just copy paste it and explain to you because it's I think it's not mm, beneficiary to to type all these things out. So this it okay. I have to do it. Okay. Let me explain what is happening here. So basically when we have no tasks when this array is empty we will show okay a paragraph tag no task have been created yet otherwise we will show we will iterate through the array and we will show each task in its own card then you see the for loop for this and here we're using the the prop the the, the property you get border color black green board or black border for if the task is open or not. And when the card got clicked, we use here the store task to, to cache it in Pioneer and to emit, to emit the card clicked. And otherwise, here we show the, the, the priority of the task and of course if the reminder is set let me just check why okay da, 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 da. a second give me a second our oh, format date is not sorry uh, why is this not shown properly just let me just check quickly so tasks, okay, there's the array. Okay, so sorry for the for the confusion. I think it's it's because of WebStorm, it doesn't understand understand the properties, right? Um yeah. 
Uh, here we have, yeah, it will show in the, I think in the upper left. Let's just, let me just uh, show you again. I uh, think it's, no, it's not, sorry, it's not X, it's medium.com. On medium.com, on my stories, the first story I'm showing to you. Yeah, on the top left, we have priority. This will be this part. Uh, this will be this part, priority left on the left upper side. Then we have the reminder set. This is here on the right side. Then, then before that we have the description in the middle. Here's the description as you can see. Below the description we have the format date. Make sure, yeah, you import it. Okay more clean yeah make sure you properly import it and then and then and then and then we have the button you have a v button for edit clicked this one here and we will have another button for delete clicked like here on the bottom right side and that's basically the card yes that's basically the card I hope this is understandable. Uh, now let's just add some styling in here. So we have sent the text. We say text align in the center. Okay, now for our black border. Take this in here. Okay, make a dot. And now we say border. We say two pixels. And we say solid black. And we duplicate these lines. Instead of black, we take green and you also green. Okay, looks good, looks good, looks good. Now we have to center the content. Uh, center content. So that you know this is used, where it is used. Let's see, here it's used for the, this task for the text when the, there's no task items. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. We say display flexible flex. Justify content center. Align items also center. Hate in which hate we are putting this as set very ph. It's okay. Okay, okay, okay. Looks also good for me right now. Uh, next thing we can do is go to go to layouts. So source where we have layouts. And we can, in default, we have this app bar, this essential preset, just get rid of it, delete it, delete anyway. Then open the view. I'm oh, sorry, then open the default. This, this can be deleted. Uh, Yes, yes, this looks also good. Okay, ah, here you should also delete it, of course. And yes, this looks very good right now. Now add, now we should add the uh, general styling. Uh, where it is, should be styles. 
Yeah, it should be styles. This readme you can also delete. Uh, go to setting styles, remove all of this, and we just copy paste some things right now. So just uh, I'm just copy pasting the general styling here. Oh, there have a typo styles. And this should be also in settings as CSS. In okay, something went wrong. Okay, okay, wait a second. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Just copy this, forget what I was doing. Copy this, everything. This is just styling for yeah, CSS styling and so on and so forth. Okay, here have some comments about what I'm doing in here, but yes. Uh, yeah. That's basically it. I think the video is otherwise getting too long. In the next video, we'll create our first pa page. And hopefully, we will also display some things in the next tutorial. So, please stay tuned. And I hope it was not too confusing. Otherwise, please like and subscribe. And see you in the next video. Yes, yeah, shabab. Masalam.